Hi, my name is Shai Reshef and I'm the founder and president of the University of the People. I believe that education in general and higher education in particular should be a basic right for all. And every single person who is qualified for higher education should have the opportunity for higher education. The model of University of the People is to include all those who do not have access to higher education. And regardless of their situation, whether it be personal, political, financial, and because we are tuition free, we can open the gates for those who would never be able to go to college otherwise. If you believe in education, and if you believe in the power of education and the importance of education, um, a project like this uh, cannot keep you uh, unenthusiastic in the, the magnitude the ambition and the desire to reach out uh, individuals, no matter where they are located in this world. Those who um, dream of a higher education, but just were unable to, um, to get there simply because places weren't available in their own countries to get into a school. And even if a place was available, they could not afford it. So here was a solution. For almost a millennium, universities have been essentially the same. They were in particular places, they had faculty who, who taught in lectures, students who were sitting in front of them in a very stylized way. And we've been saying for 50 years, at least, this is no longer necessary, it's no longer appropriate, we don't need to be doing it this way, and nobody's done anything about it except Shai and the University of the People who said, yes, we can transcend the boundaries. It doesn't have to be in physical spaces. It doesn't have, even have to be at particular times. We can reimagine education. And he really has done it. And we hope that the education, uh, educational opportunities will get people jobs, break down barriers between people of different nationalities and different ethnic groups, different religions. The thing that makes University of the People most unique is access, that it really is oriented to creating the maximum opportunity for the maximum number of students. The second thing is the involvement of a large number of faculty members, many of them volunteers, from other leading universities and different backgrounds around the world who make sure its courses are extremely high quality. It's reimagining higher education by bringing higher education to the people versus the people having to come to higher education. And it has reduced the financial barrier to quality higher education by being a tuition-free institution. I think that the biggest challenge is that uh, there aren't enough seats in higher education. Online higher education is the solution because in online classroom, nobody needs to stand in the back of the lecture hall. There is room for everyone. I was very interested in the whole idea of educational access. And here was a model that was gonna provide virtually unlimited access because it was tuition free. It was recruiting faculty and whatever administrative staff was needed from um, people who were willing to volunteer their services. Its courses were designed by some of the top professors in the world. And it uses open source materials. So all of that makes it possible to provide quality education really at a very, very low price. It's good quality and low cost, an unbeatable combination, I think. Second thing that attracted me is that its programs are not only in English, but also in Arabic. Um, we have, um, you know, a grandmother and a grandson studying together. We have a couple studying together. We have uh, 16 years old students and, and 85 years old students. Um, most of our students are, um, are adult learners with, you know, with children and full-time jobs who are able to uh, combine their, um, their studies in their very busy life. Um, helping them to pursue better careers, better futures for them, for their community, uh, and for their country. Initially, I enrolled um, to University of the People, um, I think already like four or five years ago. 
and I was immigrant at that time. Uh, I just came to the uh, to the U U.S. and also I had no English at that time, so my options were quite limited because most of uh, colleges they require um, some type of exam, English exam or something like that, in order to start uh, studying. And also because of my immigration st status, I was not um, able to secure any type of loans uh, for education and also I couldn't uh, get any financial aid or something like that from universities. So that's why my options were limited. And uh, when I saw University of the People, mostly what attracted me immediately is tuition-free model because uh, we paid only assessment fee at the end of the course. In addition also, I continued my education. I was able to secure um, scholarships uh, in different universities. I received um, uh, offers from five universities with full scholarship and also um, some other offers with partial scholarship. We give full scholarships to, to refugees, but also um, a lot of refugees when they are displaced and they arrive in a, in a host country, uh, one, they don't speak the language, two, they don't have the papers to, to work or, or study there, and therefore they cannot enter the local school system. I came across University of the People when I was desperate. I didn't have um, any other choice uh, for me to continue my higher education. I was just being displaced from my hometown, from my country, and I was in a new country, which is Kenya. And uh, while in Kenya, as a refugee, I could not afford to go to university to continue my studies. And it was um, life-changing for me uh, because I was able to go through uh, the whole journey for four years, even during the pandemic. When the pandemic started, I didn't stop studying. I pushed uh, my studies until I graduated in early 2020. 2020 I got my um, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. And after I got that uh, uh, Bachelor of Science, I was able also to secure another scholarship to do my master's at the University of Geneva. And uh, I was able even to do my internship with the UN. You know, if I could not have that degree without having that uh, master's, then I could not uh, be admitted to the UN Secretariat in Geneva. And uh, after that, I started also working with the Red Cross in Geneva, with the Idan Prize project funds, we are determined to foster your people's exponential growth by extending our reach to the millions of underserved students in need of higher education access and enabling others to replicate our successful model. Chai just has this big vision and wants to help the world and he won't take no for an answer. And um, that's exciting because he wouldn't have gotten this far if he would have taken no for an answer many times along the way. What is exciting to me is that they're removing barriers, they're opening doors, they're allowing people to have aspirations, to have dreams, no matter where they are in the world, and no matter what their circumstances are, they're telling them, you can do it, and we're there to help you and provide you a way to do it. When you educate one person, you can change a life. When you educate many, you can change the world.